negotiating a second real estate extension coming up it's caught in the crossfire what's up guys steve at steve invest helping real estate agents and real estate investors grow their businesses so I just get a call from a real estate agent asking for a second extension. The first extension was for three days for this guy to get his financing together and obviously didn't get it together. So the agent calls, kind of frantic, pleading for a second extension. So anytime that this kind of thing happens, I always put it back in their hands. So I asked the agent I go well the seller's really not interested in providing a second extension your buyer's escrow is jeopardized right now what how are you going to incentivize the seller for him to extend it this way I can go back to him and have something in hand to keep this deal together and make sure that all parties are happy the agent replies that he's got no idea so I put it back in his hands and I go, well, I got an idea. Let's go ahead and have your buyer put in another non-refundable escrow deposit. And at first he was resisting a little bit, but got him to understand, you know, there's got to be some incentive. Um, if not, you know, the, the seller could walk away at this point if he doesn't close and essentially keep his escrow of $15,000. So he calls his buyer, calls me right back, and says it's a go. So we got another $10,000 in escrow, non-refundable. So we got $25,000 of that buyer's escrow. Um, so if they don't close, you know, my seller's sitting in good shape, we'll go back to market on it. But the point I'm making to you guys is we always have to, we always have to put our client in this type of situation in a better position. Um, you know, a lot of agents will just kind of roll over and, you know, a lot of times that's, that's just not good enough. Um, so, and also you have to feel out the buyer, the buyer situation. I got a real, real good idea of what happened with the, um, with the buyer's financing. And, um, you know, it's, it's not necessarily the buyer's fault, but at the same time, that buyer needs to put more pressure on their lender to get things processing. The lender did uh, drop the ball a little bit, and um, it's it, it's important that, that that buyer is either face to face with their lender that they chose, and uh, they're on the phones with uh, that that mortgage broker or their manager or regional manager or whoever they need to get on the phone to get this thing expedited and closed out. So anyway, with that buyer's additional escrow, it's gonna put more pressure on that buyer to put pressure on that lender to get the deal done. So my question to you guys is, as a listing agent, and if you were in the similar situation, how would you have handled that? And how have you handled past deals? Comment below, I'd appreciate it. As always, if this helped you out, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. I'm gonna have more negotiation tips coming at you. See ya. Oh. 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 Oh.